lot of runners, running uphill is something to dread. It can hurt and feel really slow. It is slow, but like with any other training, with a little bit of practice, you can make huge improvements to your uphill running. I'm Anna, and today on The Running Channel, I'm joined by Olympic cyclist and amazing runner, Emma Pooley, who's going to be giving us a load of tips for how to run uphill. She's pretty good at it. Quickly though, if you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos every week all about running. It's so worth putting in a bit of time to train on hills if you ever plan to race or even just run somewhere a bit bumpy because it's on the tough uphill sections that I think you can really make a difference. And of course, also, I mean, who wants to run on just a flat? I mean, so boring. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I do still ride my bike. I love cycling, of course. But now that I've got a job, I find it's much more time efficient to do some running. And I love running. And the weird thing I found is that cycling is actually, strangely, quite good cross-training for uphill-specific running. So there's no excuse for cyclists and triathletes nope. then. And the thing with uphill running too is that it can put less of a stress through your legs because you're not pounding the pavement as much as you would be if you were running on the flat or downhill even. And you can get a really good workout for your muscles and your cardiovascular system. It is really important to note though that it can be a little bit hard going on certain areas of your legs. Think the likes of your calves and your Achilles, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's true. Like I had an injury this summer, which was a bit upsetting because I love running and I couldn't run for ages. I had a stress fracture in my femur. But the first thing I could get back into was uphill running. So I did a load of uphill races. They call them Berglauf in Switzerland. So <laughs> like a thousand meters of climb over just eight or nine K. And I could do that way before I could start running properly on the flat again. But yeah, it just depends what your injury is really. Absolutely. And we are here in the beautiful hills and mountains even of a racer in Switzerland. Where better to bring you some tips for how you can improve your uphill running. Now the first thing with running uphill is to accept that you will be slower and not get frustrated by it. I find it best not to even look at my watch because pace per kilometre is pretty meaningless. Instead, I try to listen to my body and keep my breathing under control and stick to a sustainable work rate. Now, learning to run according to perceived exertion does take a bit of practice, but it's totally worthwhile in the mountains because if you go too fast and blow up, well, I mean, it's bad enough on a short hill like that, but if you've got to run up like a thousand metre mountain, then you will regret it later. Try and keep your stride nice and light and stay really springy on your feet as well. Take smaller steps and really drive with your glutes and your hamstrings as well as with your quads. I find it really helps to keep your upper body upright so that your breathing is easier. In fact, what I do when I'm running up here is I imagine a string from my head pulling me up to the sky and that visualisation somehow helps me stay upright with good form. It can be really useful to use your hands on your thighs to give yourself a little bit of extra power up those hills and to keep your body upright as well, especially when they get really super steep, which might be the point where you might need to use some poles as yeah, well. Definitely. Now, I've forgotten my poles today, but I am quicker with poles and a lot of people find they're really useful on the steep up hills because you can use your arms to drive and you get more power. On the other hand, it does use more muscle, so it's more tiring. And I've blown myself up a few times on hills where I've just overcooked it totally. And the other thing to remember is it takes a bit of practice to use them because like you have to coordinate poles as well as feet and I, I'm so badly coordinated I had to practice loads before I could use them in races. And every gram of weight as well feels like an extra burden when you're going uphill compared to on the flat so you know if you're in a race situation and you want to be as fast as you can then sometimes poles can be that little bit of extra weight but it is important to to think about uh, packing like a lightweight waterproof jacket in fact most races say that that's you know you absolutely have to take that with you and some warmer clothes especially if you're going up mountains because the weather can change quite quickly and it's also really important to make sure that you're carrying food and water with you when you're going uphill up mountains but only enough that you need to get you to the next place of, that you can pick up more food or water so that might be an aid station if you're in a race or a water source if you're out in the mountains. Now, when a climb gets really steep, it actually can be quicker to hike sometimes. And I always used to think in races that if I, if I started hiking, I was giving up. But actually, when it's over 30% like this, yeah. hiking is more efficient than running. So I've actually started doing power hiking as reps now. Hiking reps? This is the running channel, Emma. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, but I've been <laughs> overtaken in races by people hiking past me as I was running. So I reckon it's worth training. 
Yeah. Okay, right. Oh, well, I'm not sure that it's okay to tell people that it's all right to walk. No, I'm only joking. Of course, it's absolutely fine to walk up something like this. Are we on the path still? I don't know. <laughs> I actually find one of the best things about running uphill is that, well, you get higher. And at my height, <laughs> I need to go uphill to get a good view. <laughs> and these are pretty spectacular views up here. Yeah, no, but actually, I'm not even joking. That When I'm running uphill in a race or something and my lungs are burning and my legs hurt, I find it's a really good way to distract from all that, just to look around and appreciate what I can see. It's just an amazing experience. And it might be hard work at the time, but it's so worth it. Absolutely, like I'm experiencing both the beauty of our surroundings and the burning lungs at time from the altitude and coming up <laughs> quite so high. But uh, yeah, there's some tips for you for your uphill running. Hopefully you found them useful. Please leave us comments below if maybe you're heading into the mountains or you've got any hill running experiences you want to share with us. Or maybe you just want to suggest a video of what you'd like to see us make next. We'll see you next time on the Running Channel.